It's an extremely difficult week for the Brunetti family. Their restaurant, which they've owned for 62 years, will be closing its doors for good on Friday. There have been lots of nights crying. There's been, um, it's been so emotional. Therese owns Brunetti's Pizza with her husband, Mike. The Scranton restaurant was opened by Mike Brunetti's parents in 1958. Mike and his mother, Ann, took over the restaurant after his father passed away. Brunetti's Pizza closed its doors in March. Therese tells me her son contracted COVID-19, which was especially unsafe for both her and her husband because they both have immunosuppressed diseases. So that was kind of our breaking point that we have underlying conditions, Mike and I. We decided at that point it was just not safe for us to remain open. Brunetti's Pizza remained closed for three months. Therese says there was no opportunity to recover financially from that closing. This week, they're open to liquidate the store and say goodbye to their community and friends. Mother Amber, Ann Brunetti just called me today and told me the store was open, so I had to run down here and come in and get, get maybe one last hoagie or one last piece of pizza before it closes forever. The popularity of Brunetti's Pizza is far spread. People have come um, yesterday, an hour and a half drive from upstate New York, they took back nine trays of pizza and all the goodies and everything else. She says another girl started a GoFundMe to see if they could keep the restaurant open. I mean, just everyone's reaching for the stars for us, and that means the world. The restaurant is special to the Brunettis. Therese and Mike got engaged in the restaurant's office. Mike was in the store when Therese told them they were expecting their first child. And after they were born, the restaurant had many memories for their children. Mike's mother, Anne, was a staple in the restaurant as well, working there until she was 86 years old. It was only after a fall two years ago that Anne had no choice but to retire. She was really the, the backbone of the business. Um, everybody loves Anne Brunetti. Um, Therese says Brunetti's wouldn't be what it is without the community. Whether you're having highs or lows or you need, you know, a little extra help in a snowstorm, we have neighbors that just show up and start helping. Um, we've been so blessed. So, I mean, it's really the community that's an extended family of ours. Uh, I'm really going to be sorry to see this place go. He's been a fixture in the Green Ridge neighborhood and I don't know what we're going to do without them. After it closes, the building, the property, and the restaurant's liquor license will go on sale. If it doesn't sell, it will be auctioned off on August 15th. In Scranton, Rafe Janaswamy, Eyewitness News.